present. Zoe is excused because she's sick today. Catherine, let's say she is late. Peebong, he is absent. There's a lot of absent people here. Let's make a few people here present, a few more absent, and one more excused, and one student late. So this is really easy to electronically record student attendance. The great thing about this app is you can then communicate, if I press communicate up here, I can then use this app to actually email students who weren't at class. So I can email all the students or I can email the missing students. Okay, and this will automatically send an email to all those students I can say, you know, where are you? <laughs> Oops. Okay, and it's a really good way to manage student attendance. So I'll cancel that. But for me, as the coordinator, I can also email myself a report, or my tutors can email me reports. So they can email me a report just to say who's missing. Okay, so instead of having to give me all this paper and I have to work it out, the tutors send me an email and say, right, this is all the students are missing. And it's all done in just the press of one button. There's also a rear scan here and a front scan. We don't use this, but some universities, uh, the student cards have a barcode. So you can actually press, say, rear scan, and you can scan the student barcode, okay? And that'll record that the student is present. So you don't even have to wander around. Or that you could leave this at the front of the lab and students can scan themselves in and out. So there's a, a lot that you can actually do with this app. So this will generate reports at the end of the week, at the end of the semester. Um, so really, really useful um, app. And you can see it's generated a weekly class for every week. So I don't even have to set up a new lab for every week. So for me, with 420 students, this has saved a lot of time and energy. Okay, now I think I probably will pass this on to Tim. So that app was called Attendance 2. Ah, okay. Mark, so you can bookmark a page to come back later on. You can look at diagrams, you can enlarge diagrams, you can flick through diagrams. You can also watch video content in the book itself, so seeing both the image and the sound. There's also interactive quizzes that you can create for your students. So after they've finished reading a chapter, they can then go through the quizzing component and they can test themselves on the knowledge they've just read or interacted with. They can create their own study cards. So they can copy content on some study cards and then they can actually test themselves later with the cards flipping around. You know, what is that terminology? They say the word and they flip it over and they say, oh, yes, that's right. So they're studying the content if that's in the book as well. But they're creating all their own study cards. And there could also be 3D models. So you can rotate zoom in and out those models within the iBook. Students can also add notes and they can highlight text as well. They can choose, even choose the colour of the highlighter as they go through the book. So what I want you to do is open up iBooks. iBooks there's a little, I'll show you what that looks like. Tap on this little icon here. It looks like a book. That one there. So 
So once you've tapped on the, the book, tap on Gallbladder. This is the book that's on your iPad. And it starts off with a little movie. If you tap on that screen, you can just go done. So you can jump out. Just tap the screen and then go done. Now I want you to navigate to page 16. If you just tap it and then go done. Yeah, it can save it on the iPad. Yes, you can, you can. So how's everybody going? They've gone to page 16. Then I want you to find the word mucosa. And tap on that word. Tap on the word mucosa. Mario. See your password. Uh, no, nah, that was it. Thank you. Yeah. So everyone tapped on the word mucosa and a glossary comes up. Tap on that word and you can see a glossary. So there's a glossary, you can add glossaries to certain words throughout your book. The next section I want you to do is to go to page 17 and tap on the histology image. When you tap on that image, the image enlarges the full screen. So that's page seven, 17. So you can go to 17. Uh, and then tap. Everyone got there? And then what I'd like you to do is go to chapter 6. If you tap, tap in the middle, then it's table of contents. Is it? Uh, we have a break at 11 o'clock. Okay, do you want me to stop in a minute, do you? Okay. Do you want me to finish? Okay. When we finish this session, we're actually going to have a break. Right. So everyone on page 46, and you'll see the word Trunnenberg down here. It is this word here. 
What I want you to do is double tap on the word. Two taps on that word. So if I double tap Drennenberg, it becomes highlighted. I then want you to tap on the word that says note. Note. N-O-T-E, note. And a little note page pops up. That allows you to type some text. So you can add your own personal notes to any word or any page on the book. So what you can type up there is Patient inclined at an angle of 45 degrees. Just type some notes. Don't have to write all that. Just say, put in, type in 45 degrees. So go to that one there. And 45, 45 degrees. That's the angle of the bed. Once you've finished typing some text, just tap anywhere outside on the page itself. And you then see the note appear on the left hand side as a little like a sticky note. See the yellow little sticky note? So if you tap that note, then the page opens up and you'll see your text. You have a no. Then tap, tap. You got highlighted, but also you can tap the word note. That's it. And type in some notes. Just type anything in. 45 degrees. That's the angle for that particular. So that's that one there. 45. Then when you finish that, go to page 47, and you've got an image there, which has multiple images on the one screen. So by tapping on the numbers, if you tap on number one, it moves across two, three, four, it zooms into the image. And then lastly, on page 48, there is a little video clip as well. Don't bother about playing a video clip because we're having a break very soon. So what I've shown you so far is that for, with an iBook, you can add your own personal notes. You can access glossaries, access images, multiple images, and you can also access video files as well, all embedded into the one book. This is what we'll be doing later in the week. You'll be creating your own iBook with interactive content in that book for your students. 
So it's going to be a working book for your students where they engage in the content. Got any questions, just put your hand up. Myself or Mario and other staff will float around to help you. But what we might do now because of time is just have a short uh, break. So a 10, 10 minute morning, morning tea break. Okay? And we've got refreshments over there. About now is, is called Viewbox. Viewbox allows you to show X-ray, CT, ultrasound images on your iPad and also annotate those images as well. So Viewbox is a, an app that's around, it's a few dollars, and it allows you to access your Dropbox. So what I'm going to do now is jump out of my slide here and bring up Viewbox. what we can see, we've got three medical images and down the bottom right hand corner there's one viewing box, there's no image. So what I want to do now is add an image to that viewing box. So I tap on the little plus symbol right down the bottom there, that means to add, plus means to add, and I can select a number of different locations, I can select from my photo library, or I can select from Dropbox. So if I select from Dropbox, it allows me to access my images that I've stored in Dropbox. So I'll tap on the top one. This is a example of um, twins. If I want to then view this X-ray of the arm a bit closer, if I tap on this little button here, it will expand the image. So now I've got full-size image. I can then also add markers to that image. So I've got access to like a pen. So I can then choose the colour. I'll just choose uh, yellow. OK. And I can outline some of the bones of that image as I'm talking. So I can outline the, the radius and the ulna as I'm giving my lecture. Or the students can use this to test their knowledge. I can then erase that lines. I've also got a tool at the very top that allows me to rotate the image. So I tap on that tool and I can then rotate the image. I can also zoom in to the wrist. So Lightbox is a way of accessing and manipulating radiology images on your iPad. So you could use this as a lecturer when you describing uh, x-ray images. The students can use it to study, but they can also use this in the clinical environment. They could then go up to a clinician and ask them questions about the particular fracture of this wrist. And I can then jump back. <coughs>